in my lab, we have probably used it for every tissue possible. So things like bone, a cartilage, we are now beginning to develop a semi-artificial pancreas with it. Uh, we are looking at kidney, uh, the glomeruli, and how we can make uh, functional glomeruli using PHAs. So uh, the fact that we can have uh, so many uh, mechanical properties from these polymers, we really can use it for, I believe, any tissue type. There is no limitation as to what we can use PHAs for. It's to be able to process them well, to get the right uh, PHA for a particular property, to get the right degradation rate is the limitation. Uh, other than that, there is no real limitation on what it can be used for. Um, the other application is drug delivery. Again, that we uh, there's a huge potential there, controlled drug delivery, even vaccines. So with the COVID situation, we have this huge need for having a stable room temperature vaccine. I can see again we can uh, you know encapsulate the required mRNA for the uh, proteins that are the spike protein, for example, for the COVID uh, vaccine. So even that vaccines can be developed using PHAs. So there's so much of potential with these polymers uh, in the medical area, leave alone even in the you know, environmental applications. You can get green packaging from them. You know, we have so much of pollution problem in the marine environment. This is marine biodegradable as well. So in addition to the biomedical applications, which of course is the focus of Termis, we can even go wider. Um, so yeah, there's really a lot we can do with PHAs.